Hi, hey, today I'm going to show you how to rig a spider. So let's just jump right in. The first thing I'm going to do here is place all of my joints. So I have a clean mesh with no transform values. So first I'm going to take my skeleton to so go to the rigging tab go to skeleton create joints and I always place a root bone right in the middle of the scene um, this is in case you're going to use a, your rig in a game engine um, they usually want you to have a root bone at the origin so I'm going to place a bone there now let's see I want the body to be able to rotate I'm gonna make all the legs IK and these things in the front are gonna be FK chains um, but the body the back uh, abdomen is gonna be just an FK that's gonna be able to go up and down and so I need a cog control that's going to pivot somewhere from the middle of this guy. So if I take like a loop of edges right in the middle and do go back to modeling, do deform cluster. That gives me a point right in the middle of that area that I can use to snap a bone to. So I'm going to go around and do that for a couple of these other spots. So places where I'm going to want to pivot this. So I'm trying to see in here, hitting F to focus it on that point. Somewhere in the middle of that is probably where I want it to bend. So I'm going to do deform cluster, put another one in there. And I can adjust it. This is just getting me pretty close to what I'm going to want. So what I'm doing is I'm just going around selecting an edge loop and then adding a cluster. And I'm going to do that all the way down the legs. Sometimes I'm going to grab a loop of faces and sometimes I'm going to grab an edge loop but either way I'm just selecting what I think I need to select so that when I put the cluster in the middle of it um, that's where it's going to bend. There and then we only have to do half of the spider because after we rig the left side, we're going to mirror it over to the right. Um, so here I'm just doing the same thing, but on the little grabby parts on the front of the spider and the mouth, whatever that's called. <laughs> All right, I think that's all of the bones that I need. Except I like to make end, end bones so I can just see where everything is. So let's make a, okay. Now if I hide my mesh, There, see all that? <laughs> so now if I do create, let's create uh, some joints. So skeleton, create joints. So my first one, I'm gonna hold V to snap. I'm just gonna hit enter because I don't want that to, I want that to be oriented to the world, this one. So then I'm gonna hit G to get back into my create skeleton tool, snap it snap it that's the abdomen hit enter 
hit G to get back. Snap, 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 snap. I'm holding V to snap it to these clusters. G, holding down V while I snap. Whoops. Oh. I'm gonna change the display size. So display, animation, joint size. And let's just change this to 0.1. So I can have a little bit more room to move around here. Hold down shift and hit the plus button and you can expand your joints all the way down. I'm gonna grab these ones and set them to 0.25. All right, let's turn the spider back on and see how we did. Make sure everything still lines up. Oh, I wanna do shading x-ray joints so I can see through it. Okay, I think I got them all. In the next video, I will clean up the, the joints. So, see you in the next video.